everybody. My name's Eli. Today we're going to build a roadside stand. I started with an old 4x8 utility trailer. It's a really light build. Um, it is a tilt trailer, kind of designed to haul ATVs and lawnmowers. We have two 4x42 pallets, set one on the front, one in the back, and then kind of webbed between the two pallets, creating a bridge to be able to stack wood on. Uh, it's a really simple build. I just put another 48 inch by 42 pallet in the front here. That's my son Cole who's helping me. We're going to take our second pallet and attach it in front of the trailer, which is where I'm going to have my bundles. I'm going to put that at 26 inches of space from the first pallet so that we can get two 12 inch wide bundles next to each other with a little bit of space. Now here we're building that webbing between the two pallets like I had mentioned earlier where we had deconstructed a pallet put a four foot two by four on the edge of our front pallet, put a four foot two by four on the edge of our back pallet, which gives us a platform to be able to build our little mini pallet between the two. But it also allows us to connect the front pallet to the back pallet. Here we're going to set our center pallet divider and my plan was to have a loose stack here in the center and a loose stack in the back and as we're attaching these I had realized that I would like the bigger stack over the wheels and the smaller stack in the back. So we have 16 inches in between the two back pallets there and then we have about 40 inches in between the two front pallets, or, excuse me, that the center opening is about 40 inches I'm using a 2x10 as a little header here it's just something I had laying around which will give us slope on our roof because we'll go from that 2x10 down to basically nothing in the back We kind of broke a screw off there, so I had to pre-drill it. We're just test fitting some scrap material here for some dividers. Here I had a sheet of roof steel left over that I was just kind of test fitting. And I removed that so I could paint. And I'm just using some black paint I had on hand. That was an implement paint that I had picked up from a fleet farm or a farm store here and I just decided to kind of roll that on there instead of spray it. Uh, it's a little more labor intensive obviously and it's not quite as neat but all I'm trying to do is kind of clean it up a little bit. doesn't need it by any means but the paint will help kind of protect the wood in the long haul as well.
Now I'm just adding the roof steel here. Uh, what I forgot to record was my little stenciling. So after I painted that black, I just took a can of white spray paint and whited out the area that I needed the lettering. Then I added some vinyl decals that I was able to then respray black over. And then I rolled the black paint on. So what I did here with the steel is I stitched all the sheets together so that I could kind of maneuver it around and get it centered where I wanted to. And then I was able to attach it to the roadside stand itself. So I just ran a couple of screws in those top ribs to lock it into one piece, which allowed me to move it around. I just screwed it down. As you can see there right by the drill, I have that one sheet that's a little bit long. I'm going to come in later and trimmed it flush. As you can see, I have that one piece that's a little bit long. I came in a little bit later and then was able to trim it flush. So get that marked out to trim. Just use the angle grinder with a cutoff wheel. Kind of a funky angle here. As you can see, it's already loaded up. I have eight bundles in there. I didn't want to load it completely full of bundles to make it look like some people had already taken a few. I'm currently waiting to get my donation box that's been stuck in the mail here for quite a while now. So the stand is ready to go, but I don't have it out yet because I need somewhere for people to pay me. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.